we have an experiment plan today. I have some leftover charcoal, which is pretty much the only reason why I'm even, I'm even attempting this. I'm not sure how long this will take. I'll make sure we have enough charcoal in here to get the to get the meat cooked. Damper down the bottom, put on the deflector plate, and put on the grate. There we go. Go and grab the meat. This is what we have today. It's a frozen bottom round roast. So this is just a beef a beef uh, roast that is frozen. I want to see how long it takes to cook. And if this is a, a method you could do, so you don't actually have to thaw your meat. Now, I know, you should thaw your meat. I'm just saying, if sometimes you don't have time or you forgot, can you actually do this? So we're gonna find out. <laughs> Barbecue is set to around 250. <laughs> I will come out and season it once we have the exterior actually uh, thawed enough to take a seasoning. But until then, even if you're looking, you aren't cooking. So here it goes. All right, we're about a half hour in. Thought it was time to season. Now I can tell, getting a good smoke flavor on that. Sorry, smoke uh, penetration on there. Because it's the uh, coloring of the fat is really uh, taking smoke. My hunch is that there will be a very big smoke ring when this gets done. Mm -hmm. Looking pretty good. We'll give it a flip. I like it. I'm liking what I'm seeing. It is actually done. I'm gonna pull it off now and let it rest. Not a bad looking roast. I mean, I've seen worse. It's still really hot and it's rested for a good maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So. Probably too hot to slice, but you know, I'm gonna sit just for like maybe a couple minutes out here. All right, it's still gonna be pretty hot, but we can we can work with it. And this is not a steak. This is a like the cheapest of the cheap kind of roast that we're talking about. So this is really just to slice up. You can put it with something else. Or give it to the dog. <laughs> a lot of juice coming out, which is a good thing. Okay. Yeah, I was right about the smoke ring. Let's go and try a piece here. Some of the juice fell on the ground, and Beignet is drinking it, or licking it. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good little, uh, pretty good little roast. I think he approves. Let's see, I don't, I don't normally do this. Hey. Again, not and it's not horrible. If you have to do with something really quick, by quick I mean you don't have time to to let it come up to temperature, if this took about like maybe two hours, if that, maybe 90 minutes, it's completely thought, completely frozen, 
came up to being eh, probably overcooked in under under two hours. I think it's about a three pound, four pound piece of roast. Um, not bad. I would say maybe throw some gravy on, throw some gravy with it, maybe some mashed potatoes, let a corn on the side because you have the barbecue going, might as well. And then it'd be a good little meal. You don't have to do to, to thaw it. I'd recommend to. But this was an experiment. Go ahead and try it so you see what you can come up with yourself. Until next time, everybody. Thanks for watching. Cheers.